Hi, and here we are back again with Maya and Ed Scopel of ITEL Acres. Hi, we're here with a mullein plant today, and we wanted to show its beauty, its elegance, its hugeness, and uh, talk about some of the medicinal values of mullein. And first off the bat is this, uh, before the flowering stalk comes up, it'll just be a basal rosette of these large, very, very fuzzy, nice feeling, comfortable leaves, which also have the name Camper's Toilet Paper. So in this corona time of toilet paper shortages, please do keep this plant in mind. <laughs> um, another thing folk-wise beyond medicine is you see how it develops this, this, this big stalk, the flowering stalk, which becomes the seed head. This huge stalk, um, you may, it, it kind of looks like a torch or an outdoor candle. Well, that's what they made out of these back in the day. They would take these long expired flowered heads and dip them in tallow or lard and use these as field candles by burning off that tallow and lard off of this. But back to its medicinal aspects. Okay, so in the when before it's shot its big stem up, for the first year it grows low to the ground and just has a lot of these leaves. It's a so, biennial. So you take, uh, you know, you never take all the leaves of one plant, but you can harvest many of the nice looking leaves and although they seem dry already, you can dry them some more to put them up or you could use them fresh in, in tea as well. And this is used for all sorts of lung, lung issues to coughs, bronchitis, pneumonia, different things like that. Mucilaginous, so it won't, it'll help with the dried out mucosa as well. The yellow flowers are a specific remedy for ear aches and ear infections. So you could take the, the flowers as that now this is way past flowering these are seed heads these are old expired flowers but as it's in full flowering you can harvest the flowers put the flowers in a jar soak them in olive oil and do an extraction in oil and then that's a supreme medicine for dropping in anytime you have an ear problem ear infection anything like that worked great for my kids when they were little uh -huh. and i could avoid antibiotics right mm -hmm. right that's a yeah another thing is to avoid the use of antibiotics which are so over prescribed largely for things which we have very effective remedies for that exist without needing to resort to those heroic medicines like we have heroic herbs which are herbs that are so strong you only need a tiny dose with herbs like i mean with drugs like antibiotics uh that do so much damage when we can first use something in the natural world that's not going to annihilate our gut Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Ed and Maya. Thank you.